Well, hello everybody. It's Bruce Foskey here and I'm sipping coffee on Saturday morning. You know, it's funny. I never find myself actually using the handle on my coffee cup. I almost always grab it the other way. I don't know why. Well, anyway, today I'm here to not talk about coffee mugs. I'm here to talk about a couple of resources that are available to you as music educators and as music students. I'm going to show you a YouTube channel here that I think is going to make your life a little bit easier when it comes to playing along with someone. I think that at this weird time, obviously, I love collaborating with pianists. I love giving recitals. Uh, performing is is important. But right now, we're we're home alone, or we're home alone with our loved ones, and not everyone has the luxury of a great piano or a pianist nearby. And not everyone has access to smart music. I know that they're offering free subscriptions, but sometimes there are issues with technology that keep that from happening. And so if you see here on the screen, I have this YouTube channel, uh, Pamus, P-A-M-U-S, Music Accompaniment, Accompaniments. And if we scroll down here, you'll see that there are piano accompaniments for piano solos, tuba, percussion, cello, singers. And there's a playlist for every instrument or for quite a few of the instruments. And so nevertheless, if you go through and look at the trombone list, it gives a screenshot playback of the accompaniment along with cues on the page and video of the sheet music with the, the cursor going along. But the Rimsky-Korsakov is here. The Kurnow Fantasy. The David is here. The Saxa concertino for tenor trombone and the va bass trombone version. The saint saul Cavatine, the Barat Andante and Allegro, uh, the David concertino, the Wagen style, the alto trombone piece, the transposed version in B flat for tenor trombone, the Schulek, the row parts piece in E flat minor. There's a lot of repertoire here. The reason I'm suggesting this is that if you have an option for your juries this semester or a final semester grade or a studio recital and you want to keep that going and you don't have the ability or the access to a pianist who can help you out, this is an alternative. Um, I would like to think that in this particular instance, if someone had uh, a need for something like this, no one would go after you for broadcasting it. Because if you're doing it for educational purposes, uh, again, I'm not a copyright lawyer. I, I don't know the ins and outs of that. So use it your own risk, but definitely use it in your own practice. And if you have to uh, postpone a studio recital until the fall, this is an opportunity for them to have a, a way to practice the material when they're away from you. And you can check the tempos to make sure that, you know, these are the performance tempos. The only thing that would make this better is if they had uh, practice versions that were, you know, 80%, 70%, 60% of the performance tempo, or even 110%, so you could practice it slightly faster. But nevertheless... It's a resource that's available to help you out. And there are several channels like that, but this is the one that I found that's the most organized, the cleanest videos. I mean, it's really nice. Uh, they have remastered versions without the click track for some of them. And so it's a, it's a resource that's available for you. If you have any questions about it or any other ways that you can make this happen, please let me know. I'd be happy to help however I can. And in the meantime, hang in there, okay? Talk to you later.